Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ultimate contest. Chat GPT versus Google. In this brand new game show, we're gonna run it through 10 prompts that I completely subjectively picked. These are problems that I either faced before or I'm facing right now in my life. And these 10 problems will allow us to test the capabilities of the brand new superhuman AI chatbot versus good old Google. It is truly a massive battle because at this point, Google is so much more than just a search engine. But Chat GPT brought something to the table that has a lot of people shook. And today we'll find out which one of these two is the superior model, kind of. It's time to sit back, relax, and see what's better. One last thing before we begin, the methodology I'll be using here is I'll have both apps open. And across these 10 different categories, I have a notepad with various things we'll be asking both of them. And again, I'll be judging these completely subjectively as to which one of the two answers would be more useful for myself. It should also be noted that I didn't test or prepare any of these, so you get my genuine reactions and I can judge this while it unfolds in front of me. So without further ado, let's get going. Chat GPT versus Google. So for our very first round, we'll be starting with a question right here. As Google is the OG when it comes to search queries, we will pick one of the most popular ones in the world. Here's a list of the thousand most asked questions on Google and I will be picking this one. How to tie a tie. Let's input this into Google. Enter. Chat GPT, enter. And of course, Chat GPT is always gonna take longer, but let's not judge it on that. Hmm, that's kind of nice. In Google, I get this step-by-step -step tutorial with a picture next to it. This is actually extremely helpful with two different knots. All right. Wow, and right below there's a collection of videos. I think this one is pretty clear already, but let's look at the Chat GPT response. There are many different ways to tie the next tie. It will depend on the type of knot. And then you get a step-by-step -step tutorial. This is a little more detailed than the Google one, but I mean, clearly with the pictures and the videos, this one clearly goes to Google and we can move to our our second round and here we'll go with a common problem that i face sometimes what can i do if i have a headache enter enter okay so first let's review google it gives you a list of do's drink plenty of water Get plenty of rest if you're sick. Try to relax. Take paracetamol or ibuprofen. Try to stay at home and avoid contact with other people if you have a high temperature. Okay, so here it assumed I'm sick, but honestly, I just meant a common headache that you have after a long and exhausting day. Let's see what ChatGPT replies. There are several things you can try. Take over-the-counter pain medications, acetaminophen, ibuprofen, or aspirin. Okay, so it's one more than Google. I would say that's equal. Apply cold or warm compress to your forehead or the back of your neck. Well, that's a really good one. Google didn't tell me this. Drink plenty of water. Water, of course try to relax and reduce stress of course get some rest and try to sleep try some relaxation techniques such as deep breathing meditation or yoga i really like this avoid caffeine alcohol and tobacco this is a key one and then it tells you if your headache persists or is severe consult a doctor wow i'm impressed so in my personal opinion this list right here wins i especially loved point six and seven and it didn't needlessly assume that i'm sick as it did google and yeah to be fair we could open up this which just gives the same advice and then let's open the top link Okay, definitely some good tips in here. If I were to judge this versus the list, it would be a tie. But I really like the concise form factor of ChatGPT here and how it gives me the information in a conversational tone. This one goes to ChatGPT. Next up, an example I faced in the realm of law. Quite simply, I needed a privacy policy for my website. So for ChatGPT, I'll say, write me a privacy policy for my website on improving people's lives with the power of AI. I'll also just go ahead and assume I know how to talk to these apps. So Google wants something a little different, right? I'll just say privacy policy, website, AI, I guess. Okay, first up, Google. They hit me with one ad, two ads, three ads. And then the first link, let's have a look, is the privacy policy of some AI website. Okay, so it looks like all the results are not a privacy policy for me, just other privacy policies that I guess I could copy, but in a lot of times these are copyrighted too and it's kind of risky business because they could sue you for a small amount and win every time. Talking from a friend's experience here, so I don't like this answer too much. Gotta be honest. And what did ChatGPT do? Now, obviously we know ChatGPT is good at these type of things, but let's see how good they are. Here's a sample privacy policy for a website that uses AI to improve people's lives. Privacy policy, effective date. I love these square brackets where I can just change my own info at website name we are committed to protecting the privacy of the users information we collect how we use your information sharing your information your choices and rights so that is excellent but i live in the u so gdpr is important here let's try and add it now adjusted for gdpr regulations okay it comes back with a list of things that i should include but hey we want to be effective here and i'd rather spend time on creating content like this than writing a privacy policy so i'll just say can you include them for me oh damn i didn't even have to it just starts writing it by itself as if it knew that I wanted that. Perfect. It just outlined the things that are important. So I'm also clear on what it did. Are you kidding me? That's just 
perfect. Okay, so clearly this one goes to ChatGPT. Next up, we'll look at a development problem. A very basic one, that is. One that I faced recently. So I wanted to write a script that helps me move files from one location on my computer to another in order to make the video creation process more effective. So let's start with Google here. Python script moving files Mac. Okay, Stack Overflow accept cookies and that's a really good answer and that would totally do the job but let's say i want to move all my desktop files to my documents folder about a basic of a script that you could want how to move files in python single and multiple examples or actually this one looks a little better and i'm familiar with the website so let's see what they got okay and right here i could just copy this change these locations in my ide and have a simple script that moves all the files for me okay that wasn't too hard let's see what chat gpt gives me write me a python script that moves all of my files from the desktop to my documents folder well already i can tell you it's nice not to have to click links or to accept some of these cookies. And hey, I don't even have to customize this. It just does it for me. Path to desktop, path to documents. This is almost perfect. And additionally, it also gives you documentation. And if something here wouldn't be completely clear, I could ask it for more details. I mean, that could have been expected because ChatGPT is somewhat of a god when it comes to these coding requests. But this point definitely goes to ChatGPT. And damn, it's free to one? Are you kidding me? I mean, okay, I have to admit, I could have picked different requests, but honestly, I just wanted different disciplines and different problems that I faced. And it's it's holding up really well here, better than I expected it to. So let's look at a new one, psychology. And this one is gonna be a little more serious. Often in my life, I felt tired for no apparent reason and a lot of the times useless too. And I know I'm not the only one. It's kind of a side effect of this fast and information overloaded society that we build these days. But instead of talking to a professional about this, let's try and consult ChatGPT and Google. And look, I know this is not gonna solve anything, but it might be a good starting point. So let's see if we can get something productive from this. What to do, feel tired, and useless how to overcome fatigue that's an ad six tips for what to do when you feel exhausted by life that sounds good why am i so tired and i don't do anything in most cases there's a reason for the fatigue it might be allergic depression liver disease all right how to treat mental exhaustion and the power of google is obviously i could open up multiple sources and compare them now so let's do that how to treat and prevent mental exhaustion and honestly after consulting this question a lot in my life this is what i came up with it's not all exhaustion is physical so this is a fantastic answer the second article let's read a little bit regulate your rhythms definitely some good advice in here let's see what chat gpt says what can i do if i regularly feel tired and useless man honestly I, every time i'm surprised by how good these lists are like the quality of this information is just so high eat a healthy diet reduce stress seek medical help i think it's a perfect list to get started probably equally as good as the article we opened here but google does give you multiple options and you can go way deeper especially on a topic that is this complex i mean this is no small topic that you should just brush over in a five bullet point list right but seriously this is good advice but i don't know if a deep topic like this it seems like google wins here because i could just go in and open multiple articles and get multiple opinions and theories on why it is and then i could compare that with my personal experience so this point i'll give to google but it should be said that you could kind of start a conversation with chat gpt here and say things that pop into your mind like okay how would i go about improving my sleep schedule and uh, there you go fantastic answer again but you could do the same in google so still google wins but this is a nicer interface to have something like a conversation right okay next up i'll ask it a big big question i'll ask it career advice and concrete career advice in my life situation i mean this should be taken lightly so equal as much as the psychology question this is also going to be a very big and deep topic that i'm going to be asking it about especially because i want to know about my situation so just a quick summary is i have a video production company with a small team and we help clients around the world communicate their messages online but then i also had my first youtube channel 11 years ago and what you're watching right now is actually channel number seven and i'm really excited about how it's developing so i'll ask both of these here how should i proceed with my career my personal answer is do both as i have a great team that helps me make that happen but let's see what google has to say about this very deep and personal question and again, we have to stay agnostic to the search engine. And what I would probably do here is go with the recommendation and pick Reddit because just some generic blog post is not gonna cut it here. So let's see if this answer is any good. Okay, I want to be a YouTuber. Same goes with freelancing. It's really hard to find work as a freelancer. <laughs> I know you people don't give a f but I need your f this is perfect. Okay, top answer. YouTube could be a good marketing channel for your freelance work. Wow, that is actually surprisingly good advice. Wage work is the best path for you. Freelancer second best based on what I see you right here. YouTube is going to be the most work and the least reward. If you're easily demotivated, then do YouTube as a hobby until it starts making double your day job. However, it's not one path or the other. Okay, so they agree with me. You can do both. All right, really good answer. Then there's also this Quora thread right beneath the Reddit. Freelancing versus YouTuber versus blogger. 
And the top answer here is it really depends on your niche, your skills and what product services you provide. And a well-rounded answer. All right, let's ask ChatGPT. Ultimately depends on your goals and interests. Becoming a YouTuber requires a significant time and effort investment, as well as the ability to create and share engaging content consistently. Freelancing, on the other hand, allows you to work on a variety of projects for different clients, which can be rewarding if you enjoy the flexibility and variety it offers. I really do. Okay, if you have the time and resources, on the other hand, freelancing can be a good option if you have specific skills. Ultimately, the best decision for you will depend on your goals, interests, and available resources. It may be helpful to weigh the pros and cons of each position and consider seeking advice from friends, family, or a career counselor to help you make a decision. Wow, this last sentence is absolute fire. This is really the best advice. You need to make it a little more personalized and ask people in your environment. Well, considering they face similar problems. If not, then that might not be the place to ask. But I like all these conditionals he put in here. Like, it depends on your goals, interests, and available resources. And honestly, both answers were great here. It's really hard to decide. I mean, they state the same facts, but ChatGPT goes in here and tells you what else to consider honestly this one will be a tie a point to both both were somewhat helpful okay next up we have a funny one and look relationship advice you definitely shouldn't be getting it from an ai chatbot that is in the beta test phase come on but nevertheless let's try this out let's see how this goes so let's take a common relationship problem how do i improve my communication with my partner okay in google we get a little list here process your feelings think about timing leave notes set clear boundaries all right regularly check in then i could open this a little bit of a different list and let's open one of the top articles here randomly. Five easy ways to communicate better. Okay, ask open-ended questions, pick up nonverbal cues. These articles go into a lot of detail. Overall, valuable stuff. Okay, let's compare with ChatGPT. Okay, active listening, I statements. Honestly, I'm liking these points better than the ones on Google already. Might just be subjective, but avoid interrupting, take breaks from heated conversations. Again, ChatGPT kind of hits the sweet spot between good advice and like a concise paragraph underneath it. I mean, heck, if I had to decide, like, honestly, this chat GPT advice is just a little better than the one up here. Like, okay, we have I statements in both, but this active listening part is huge and it doesn't even mention it here. I guess picking up nonverbal cues is kind of active listening. I feel like chat GPT has a better answer, but maybe let's go deeper on this one because I don't want to give away a tie again. So let's hit it with a concrete situation. It's super random. What if I wanted to go to one restaurant and my girlfriend didn't? Let's hit Google with the same. <laughs> my girlfriend says I'm not allowed to go to a certain restaurant. Well, that's not relevant to my question here. For very rarely, almost never wanting to go to restaurants, girlfriend wants me to meet her ex. Nope, I'm sorry, Google, but we have to work on our communication. You did not really get my question here. My girlfriend is going out to dinner with another guy. How do I get my girlfriend to choose a restaurant? This is not what I asked for. Let's see what ChatGPT gave me here. It's normal for couples to have different preferences and then occasionally disagree. Here are a few things you could try. Compromise, take turns, talk it out, seek help. Perfect. That's the answer I was looking for. I gotta say, ChatGPT is a pretty good relationship counselor. But again, it's not a replacement for friends and family, right? But this point does go to ChatGPT. Okay, so the next one is from a completely different bucket. So quick story time. During my studies, one friend of mine's parents had an Indian restaurant. And in that restaurant, he managed to really show me the beauty of Indian cuisine. Until today, it's my favorite, including the drink mango lassi. But the problem is, over the past few years, I became a little lactose intolerant, so I can't drink them anymore. So my prompt here is gonna be, how do I make a vegan mango lassi? Ooh, see, every time it uses pictures and videos, Google just gets these extra points. I'm loving this already. Creamy vegan mango lassi, okay. That looks perfect. Okay, which mangoes to choose, how to store it, that's cool. And then how to turn it into mango lassi. Yep, that's pretty perfect. And it gives me multiple recipes here, right? So I could pick this, I could pick this, and I could compare them. Good Lord, this makes me hungry. I actually ordered Indian earlier today, but that's it. Better than nothing. All right, but now let's ask ChatGPT how to make vegan mango lassi. And again, as per usual, I'm loving the fact that it just gets straight to the point. It just gives you what you need. No superfluous text or big blog article to keep you on the site for longer and to accrue more advertisement revenue. So this is an extremely concise recipe, which I love. But I gotta say, with the pictures and the different recipes, this point goes to Google. Okay, and for the last one, we'll ask it a how-to question that I'm facing here recently. My goal is to bring you the best videos possible. So I'll ask... How do I improve my YouTube videos? And yeah, this one is not entirely fair as Google owns YouTube and it should be really good at giving advice, but let's see. Okay, ignore the ads. Here's a list. And yeah, some of these video recommendations, this is quality stuff. I know some of these channels, a lot of articles. If I open up the top one, there's a lot of concrete tips. Hmm, fantastic advice. 
Okay, let's try ChatGPT. Again, it gives these answers that are like exactly what it recommends here. They're clear and concise, right? A short list. And the cool thing here is you can go in and say, okay, expand on the second point. And even if I make a typo, it corrects it, but Google does it too. Ah, that's just so good. And it can expand on any one of these. But then again, here it has the power of video and I could just go to one of these videos that I know are gonna absolutely kill it. So I have to say in this concrete example, I think the Google result is more valuable. One point to Google. We can't end on this being a tie. Let me ask both of them the ultimate question. The end all be all request that we could input here. A phrase that puts questions like, what's the meaning of life to shame? And that is of course, is ChatGPT better than Google? Let's ask both. Okay, Google tells us both ChatGPT and Google can provide information on more general topics like history, science, or recipes. But where ChatGPT really excels is in its ability to share information in a conversational manner and talk about subjects in a nuanced manner. Okay, so all of this content pretty much agrees it's complicated. So no real answer here. Let's see what ChatGPT says. Okay, it's a language model by OpenAI, sure. Google is a search engine that allows to search for the internet for information on a wide range of topics. Google uses advanced algorithms and vast database of web pages to provide the most relevant search results for a given query. In general, Google is likely to be more useful for finding information on specific topics, while GPT is better suited for generating text based on a given prompt or context. It is not accurate to say that one is better than the other as they are designed to perform different tasks. Wow, it actually gave an answer and a good one. You know what, ChatGPT gets the point and thereby wins my little competition here. Now look, obviously all these categories and prompts were super subjective, but the point of this was to teach you which one is better in what situation. And if you wanna get the most out of ChatGPT, then you should definitely check out this video because it will teach you how to get the most out of this magical technology so it can improve your life just like Google is doing regularly anyway.